What's going on my party people? Welcome back to another this Destiny review and in this review time. this is not a first impressions just like my last one. This is a full and complete and unbiased review. I never got on the hype train. I'm not a guy who followed the marketing. I am a person who was bitter at EA and picked up Destiny mostly on a whim. I was not excited for Destiny. I played the beta uh, and I've played the game. I've beaten the story. I've hung out in the PvP. I've played the strikes. I know what Your this game has to offer at this point, here. and I'm ready to Whatever give you a full us, review. Now, I want to start off with some things that really bug me. The story is, as some people would say, it's not good. I don't agree with that. I think the story has a fantastic premise, and I think if you let yourself, you can get into it. But I also think it lacks depth, and that's the big problem with the story, and it goes towards the missions. The story missions lack variety, and the story missions lack depth. The reason for that is every story mission that I played, save for maybe one or two, are essentially go from point A to point B. You have a computer, uh, an AI companion, um, and he is kind of your Cortana basically, and you send him into a thing, and he, of course, always needs more time, and you get swarmed by enemies. In these areas, respawning is restricted, and if you die, you have to usually restart the entire swarm. So if you die right near the end, you've got a few more enemies to go, but you just get an unlucky, you fall off a cliff, that's happened to me once, or you just happen to... something happens and you die, you got to restart got that it. whole Let's swarm, go. and it's not very fun. So those missions need a little bit of TLC. A little bit more depth would make this game a lot better. I don't think the story's bad, but it needs more depth. I also don't like some of the strike missions. They suffer from the same shortcomings as the story missions. They are very simple. Go from point A to point B and, you know, murder some bosses. And that is, as traditional MMOs go, standard. But the problem with this game is that, even though it's not a traditional MMO, I understand that, but the fact of the matter is the bosses are bullet sponges. And not only are they bullet sponges, they take far too long to defeat, to the point where I'm no longer invested in the fight, but they also, because of the nature of the game, you require ammo. You require ammo replenishment. And the only way that the game decides to give you ammo replenishment is by swarming you with more enemies during the boss fight. So, <clears throat> for example, there is a boss fight that I just did on, I believe it was Mars, where they spawn three of these bullet sponge bosses. Now, granted, because there's three of them, they're not as bullet spongy as some of the other ones. However, there's three of them, and they do insane amounts of damage. If you're not careful, you're gonna get your, you're gonna die. You're gonna get your butt kicked. And in these boss fights, they swarm you with enemies. And it got to a point where we kill off the enemies, because it's an, it's an insanely huge area that you're fighting in. The three of us would fight off the swarm of enemies, and then there would be more. And we'd fight off that swarm of enemies, and there'd be more. We couldn't focus the bosses. And as such, the, bo the, the battle went on for so long, I got uninvested in the fight. And once you become uninvested in the fight, you become careless. You become reckless, and then you die. And then, you restart and have to do the whole fight that you've already lost interest in again. And that is something that this game struggles with in its strike missions. The strike missions are like its dungeons, right? So the dungeons lack depth. There's that word again. Lacking depth. Now, some of the good things I like, hey, you know what, the town, the uh, tower, is a fantastic area because one, it's not too huge, it is small enough that you can make your way to where you need to go, you can do what you need to do, and get your way out of there very quickly. You don't need to dick around, you don't need to mess and do jumping around, go here, go there, everything is laid out in a logical and very easy to get to manner. The other thing that's very good about the game is the PvP. Now. It is a mix of certain genres. Um, you look at a lot of like Call of Duty influences, you look at a lot of Halo influences. I see those very strongly in the game. Um, there are a couple other games that come to mind when I'm playing it, but it's a fantastic kind of coming together of the fights. I think the PvP is the reason to get this game. If you like PvP, it's fantastic here. One of the things that I think works well and the reason why it works well is because there are the plethora of items Guardians, and that's the next topic I today items in this game people say in a lot of the professional Some reviews that they don't get doled out enough they're being compared to borderlands where borderlands gives you <clears throat> excuse me 
consistent carrots on the stick. <clears throat> well, in this game, you get enough gear to keep you going. You see, in Borderlands, I've never played the game, but it sounds, you know, they give you a lot of, you know, incremental, in, you know, upgrades. In this game, what you get when you find that piece of gear, it's a big upgrade. You can go from 100 attack to 120 attack <clears throat> in one weapon. So I think it's a great way to go. And as I've been leveling up, the gear drops have become more. And not only have they become more, they've become more significant. I found two blues just in the regular world. And that, before that, blues would never show up at all, ever, right? You know, you receive blues at the end of strike missions now. You receive blues in the PvP now. These are things that are that are starting to happen as I've been leveling up. So the gear, I don't think it's a problem. I think the gear is fantastic. The weapons look great. I like, it, it could just be my blue armor, but I like the fact that my blue armor looks shinier. It looks more fancy on my character. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. Now, the game, overall... Guys, the game is fantastic. The mechanics work really well. Shooting feels satisfactory. The sound effects are great. The music is the best part about the game. It sets the tone. Even in the boring story missions, the music sets the tone. Okay, the music is the easily 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. It's great, okay? But overall, the game depends on what you want out of it. I absolutely love the game because I love doing the PvP and it makes me happy when I hop into the game. I can do what I need to do in the hub town. I can hop out, do some PvP now. If I want to, you know, go through a strike, I can go through a strike. You know, I make sure I go through the ones that I know are, are reasonable enough, you know, that uh, don't take too long. And you know what? It makes me happy. I like the grind when you want to get your epic gear, you know, it is a grind, it's an MMO, you can't just get the best gear in one day. But you know what, the game overall lacks a little bit of depth. If you're expecting it to be an MMO, doesn't have that kind of depth. If you're expecting it to be a Borderlands game, it doesn't have that kind of variety. If you're expecting it to have a fantastic story, well, it lacks a little bit of depth. But the game is fantastic, and I'd recommend anybody picking it up. I believe the game is worth at least a 7.5 or an 8 I'll out of 10. The reason for that is because the core mechanics of the game are there. The fact that the game has the right mechanics means they can build on this. The raid missions are coming out, I believe, on the 20th or the... They're coming out really soon. I got an email from Bungie. You know, they're there. The combat is what makes the game, and the combat's there. If they release an expansion pack and it has more depth in the story, everybody will change their mind. If they release strike missions that have more depth to them, everybody will change their All these professional critics will change their mind. So, guys, I would recommend getting the game. I absolutely love it. It's great. The, the, the visuals are fantastic. It just lacks a little bit of depth in certain areas of the game, which might turn some people off. But ask yourself what you're playing the game for, and that really should make your decision. If you want to do PvP, easy decision. Go buy it right now. Stop the video and go buy it. But if you're looking for story, if you're looking for strike missions, or if you're looking for an easy game to kind of work your way and get the best gear, this isn't it. If you like MMOs, give it a look. If you like shooters, give it a look. It tries to appeal to a lot of people, and that could be why it lacks a little bit of depth there. So, guys, as always, let me know what you think. Are you playing Destiny? Do you like it? Do you agree with these professional reviews, giving it 7s and 6s and 5s? Let me know. And also, if you like Destiny and you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. As always, guys, there's a whole bunch of content on the channel. Destiny videos coming up almost every day. Don't forget to check those videos out. And as always, guys, have a fantastic day. I will catch you in the next video.